Both of us had the fear that uh, going into the hospital that we may not come out. Um, I'll never forget the moment that he looked at me and he had tears in his eyes and he apologized. He told me how sorry he was um, that I had gotten COVID. And I, I knew that, you know, I knew all along that his greatest concern was definitely for me because of my immune system issues as a result of the MS. Uh, Lori was working at home, uh, not going hardly anywhere. And uh, as a pastor, I have to get out and go about, uh, meet, with, meet with a few people. Uh, I felt like I was being very cautious, wearing the mask, washing my hands, and keeping distance when I could. But uh, somehow I did come up with uh, symptoms of the coronavirus. It had just played havoc on my body. I just didn't have um, uh, any white blood cells to fight off infection with. And as he said, my liver, liver enzymes uh, were extremely elevated uh, to the point of damage to my liver. I had a blood clot that ran from the top of my leg to my ankle. Uh, it was very painful. Uh, they said it was a result of COVID. I lost my aunt in September. She was diagnosed and seven days later, she passed away. My, my uncle um, watched her take her last breath on FaceTime. Going into the holidays uh, is a real concern for us and should be a concern for others as well. And man, we've had some hard discussions uh, with, with just each other and with our family about how many we should have at our house for Thanksgiving. Usually we have 30, 35 or 40 uh, from our family this year. That's not gonna happen. be the, the first year um, in a, a large number of years that I'm not going to spend Thanksgiving and likely Christmas with my mom. The, the way that I look at it is um, as, as much as I hate not being with my mom, with my family for, for Thanksgiving and possibly for Christmas, I know that Hopefully next year I will be because of the decisions that we've made for this holiday and making sure that they're safe and that they're protected and that they're not in um, those environments that uh, would put them at risk. Really consider whether or not you should be a part of a large gathering. Nobody wants to know that they were um, a contributing factor to a loved one yeah. getting COVID and possibly passing away from that.